ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Guys, do not know. Uh, Simone Biles recently got married. Now, what's so funny about this whole Simone Biles situation is that. I followed some random girl who ended up being her best friend randomly. Um, Y'all know I'm I'm into like houses, flipping houses, um, you know, renovations. So I ran across this blog and there was this girl, she was renovating her laundry room and it was a, a black woman. So I was like, oh shit, cool. And so I ended up following her Instagram page and, you know, her and her husband, they had bought a house, they had just got married or something like that. And so they were just renovating different rooms. And I just really enjoyed, you know, her content on Instagram. And then I would like randomly see Simone Biles commenting and they would be talking like, oh, friends. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, where did Simone Biles come from? And then I came to realize because she had made a post one day about Simone Biles being her childhood friend. And I really respected that because a lot of times, you know, with celebs, especially once they blow up, you know, and I don't care if they're actors, you know, the sports world, they kind of leave their old friends behind. And she would just comment like a regular fan, like, oh, my God, you guys did such a good job. And and I just really love Simone's personality, how she was just a regular friend to her friend. So that made me want to start following Simone. So her friend was in Simone's wedding. I remember her going to like the bridal shower and stuff like that. So Simone has really been just busy preparing for this wedding. And the guy that she's marrying, very handsome young man, big upgrade from that other man that looked like a lesbian or something people were saying. I don't know if he was a female, a man or what, but this new, her husband now, though, very handsome. He's, uh, I think he played football, he plays football. So, you know, she got married and instead of these beautiful pictures of her being in, you know, heavenly bliss, social media is dragging her. They're dragging her edges. I was very shocked to see this because I wasn't expecting this type of reception. But then again, I shouldn't be shocked. Just miserable. So these are some of the pictures here. So that's Simone Biles. Go ahead. Jonathan Owens. That's his name. Jonathan Owens. Very handsome. Um, I just like them. Like I, I've, I've followed them for a while and it's just a genuine couple. So that's what we wrote. Simone Biles has hit back at trolls who criticized her wedding style. The Olympic gymnast, 26, married NFL star Jonathan Owens, 27, in Texas on Saturday and later shared a series of images on her Instagram from the nuptials. And, and while... Some of Simone's followers gushed over her stunning selfie um, and her Leslie bi bridal dress. Others tore into her slick back ponytail. Cruel critics said that the Olympian's hair looked unkempt and some said she should have laid her edges despite the ongoing movement encouraging black women to embrace their natural textured hair. So this has been trending on you know, Twitter Basically, it's not even about this beautiful black couple getting married. It is now about her edges. So Simone finally replied back and she says this. I think they also forget I live in Houston, Texas. I sweat those out as soon as we step outside for pics. But they can keep complaining. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Somebody says Simone Biles is one of the three top gymnasts we've ever seen has overcome situations of abuse and other obstacles in her childhood, has defined her own success and found love and now is happily married and y'all are worried about her hair. So again, you know, this is why I don't take Shea Butter Twitter seriously. Most of the people who were complaining were other black women. And I, I think it's, it's kind of sad because you know, we say all this, oh, you should love who you are and, you know, embrace your hair and embrace your natural look. But then as soon as somebody does that, it's an issue. Now, and, and the thing is, when I'm out in the real world, let me keep it real. 
I don't see all of these laid edges. I don't know, maybe because I maybe because I'm in the Midwest, but even when I'm like down in Atlanta in, you know, southern area, I don't see all this slick, you know, these what laid edges and you know, just highly installed lace fronts. I see a lot of struggle out here. You know what I'm saying? You only see this shit really on social media. Hell, I posted a video me the other day, and I'm gonna I'm play the video later, but I just wanna just kind of show y'all. This was me, you know, outside of YouTube, I don't necessarily dress up because I don't give a fuck. It ain't that serious. If I'm out and about and you see me, this is how you see me. This was me the other day and I had posted a video on TikTok. It was me singing in the car. Let me just show you. The, I'm not going to play it right now. I'm, I'll play, I'm going to play it later. This was me in the car. I have on no makeup, no weave. My hair is in two little pigtails and a jacket. And I dare somebody to go in on me because half the people talking, y'all won't leave the house without a whole beat face weave to the middle of your back. I Don't get it twisted. I might have weave on right now. I might have on makeup. It's the aesthetic for YouTube because y'all don't want me rolling over and just coming on camera. So I get that. But I wear this because I want to, not because I need it. So that, that's the difference. And the thing that, that's problematic is it's like people are so brainwashed to feel like everybody looks like this when they step outside because people never just post how they look. Everybody has to look beat. Everybody's hair has to be laid. Everybody's edges have to be laid. Absolutely not. Maybe when the circumstances call for you, I'm going to dress up, I'm going to look cute. But any other time I got on a scarf, some pigtails, and some sweatpants. And I wish somebody would harass me. Like, I, it's just really sad. Because, again, the majority of people complaining about how she looked on her wedding day, one, have you ever even walked down the aisle? Let's start there. Have you had a wedding to even compare? Because I was waiting for all these folks who were clowning her edges to post their wedding pictures. Well, let us see how you looked on your wedding day. Well, show me your edges, ma'am. Let me see how your hair was light, well, was fried, dyed, and laid to the side. I didn't see not now one wedding picture from any of these critics. I didn't see nobody say, well, hey, look how I looked on my wedding day. I searched. I didn't see them post their wedding pictures, but you're clowning this young black girl about her hair, as opposed to praising the fact that this man loves her for her. And he didn't wait 10 years. They weren't engaged 10 fucking years. They've been together about two years. He found that she was special. Because like I said, when a man knows that that woman is the right person for him, you're not going to go through no 10-year engagement. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. Some of y'all been engaged since 1999 and the 2000s. She met her man. They fell in love. They walked down the aisle. So while y'all are judging her edges, she's actually married now. She's found love. She's happy. We say, oh, we want to see black love. And then when you see it, y'all want to clown it. But let that same black athlete have married a Kim Kardashian. Y'all be crying. All they ever date is white women. These black athletes only date white women. He dates his sister and y'all sit here and y'all clown her. Y'all are sick. Some of y'all are very insecure. Very insecure. That's why y'all sit on social media all day trolling people, harassing folks. Y'all wish that y'all could obtain a level of what that girl has obtained over the past few years in the sport of gymnastics. That girl has broken records. She has had moves named after her and she's very, very unproblematic. And y'all still chose to clown her. But again, why am I shy? These are the same weirdos and losers who clowned Gabby Douglas all those years ago when she had her hair pulled back in a ponytail and people thought that her edges should have been laid. Meanwhile, the white girls who are gymnasts, they can have sloppy ponytails. Nobody judges them. But we will sit here and judge these young black girls who are making a name for themselves in the sport and clown them. And then, and then don't understand why other races feel comfortable enough to clown and mimic us. Because y'all will sit there and praise Honey Boo Boo all day and the woe Vickies 
and whatever black girls, whatever white girl is popping on TikTok with a black scent. Oh, y'all will praise them for having, you know, gel and, and slick back edges, but clown your own. It's sad. Shea Butter Twitter should be ashamed of themselves. I was really disappointed in that, that that's why that young girl is viral right now. Not because she celebrated her wedding day, she's happy, she's in, you know, heavenly bliss, but because of her hair. And I'm glad she's not even feeding into it. She's like, I don't care. It's hot. It is what it is. You don't like it. Don't look at my pictures. Keep, you know, keep scrolling. So I'm glad she's not letting it get to her. But it just, it shows a lot of self. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.